At last, we can retire and give up this life of crime. Hi, this is Bob1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I've got a video for you. Um, I just wanted to take a look at the difference between the sort of hauls you get doing PvP piracy versus PvE piracy. None of us are doing PvP piracy for money. It's not the point. The point of PvP piracy is it's fun roleplay action, fun interactions with other commanders, a bit of silliness, a bit of um, chat, roleplay, and some fun. You know, it's the you know cat and mouse game of trying to rob a commander of a couple of tons of cargo. Um, you know, not everyone sees it as a bit of fun. Some people do get salty about it. It's got to be said, but for the most part, the majority of commanders that I approach to rob get it and kind of understand it's just a bit of fun role play and in fact they engage with it and have a good time you know they find the little bit of excitement they get from it and I get often get messages from people who enjoy that kind of encounter you know um, especially if you can make the messages fun and silly I love Meta's um, uh, message about would you mind being pirated as my passengers want to see a bit of action and piracy uh, sort of message that he sends or the one he used to send, which was like, um, you know, you're being uh, pirated by the top 5% of, you know, uh, liners out there and stuff like that. Those are fun, silly, you know, roleplay experiences and roleplay encounters. Uh, if you want to see p uh, piracy done correctly, go over to Polo's channel. There's some amazing videos on there. And even Polo, the most successful of the pirates in the Dark Marauders, is not making a, you know a ton of money from pirate PvP piracy. He's certainly not making a living from PvP piracy. You know, he does make some money, but it's not masses. Um, you know, Pirate Orc gets a decent amount of money from tricking people, conning people, hostage situations, those sort of things. But that's not PvP piracy. Um, if you want to make money in piracy, you do PvE piracy, uh, which is kind of I equate it to mining. It's incredibly similar to mining. You find a rock and you harvest it. In this case, you find a ship and you harvest it. There are better methods than what I'm using. I'm just doing the aggro method. So this ship flies backwards and forwards past me, shooting at me, and I just four pips to shields, hatch breaker, and whenever I feel like I need more cargo to pick up, you know, and I get a decent amount of tons each pass. Now there are a lot better methods. If you're one of the sort of people who worry about things like credits per hour, I uh, suggest you go to Wiggy's channel. He's got some great methods which reduce limpid travel times so therefore mean you make more credits per hour um, me personally I never worry about that sort of thing you know I do a bit of this PvE piracy occasionally just for fun and um, building up my stock of stolen low temperature diamonds which I can then share around the Dark Marauders share the wealth and make sure the PvP guys don't run out of rebites that sort of thing uh, but I uh, yeah I enjoyed a bit of PvE piracy now and again to take a break from say mining or mission running is my primary sort of like money making methods I mean mission running is apparently I keep getting told not that viable but I find it perfectly viable method of making money um, especially if I'm looking to make money for other people because I can run a load of wing missions build them up and then get people in a wing to share the wealth and okay I might not be making many credits per hour for me but if you look at the, you know, what all four people in the wing are earning added together, uh, to me it's a decent amount of credits. And also there's some good materials you get from you know, running missions. Here, if you want to be mean, you can after you've robbed the guy, you can also blow him up and steal the uh, materials from the NPC. Uh, some elite NPCs do give off decent materials. Also, while you're doing PvE piracy, you're likely to be pirated um, by NPC pirates. I would recommend killing them and harvesting the uh, materials from them. You actually do get good grave fight mats from elite anacondas that come and try and stop you when you're pirating. Uh, so something I do when I'm in my cutter is I blow up every single NPC pirate that comes against me. I'll get a bounty rewarded, but mainly I'm doing it for the materials. Um, like I say, this isn't me giving you the best example of how to make credits per hour doing this. But as you can see already, this is way more profitable than PvP piracy will ever be. Uh, you know, you do get that once in a billion score when you uh, make a chunk of change off PvP piracy. But on the whole, we don't do it for the money. We do it for the fun, the roleplay, and the silliness. And uh, it is really good fun to do. And, you know, 
taking credits from other players, having sort of, you know, the fun times of being chased away by people trying to defend the trader, that sort of thing. It's great roleplay fun. It's very silly. It's, you know, a good laugh. And I love doing my PvP piracy in like weaker or random ships. At the moment I'm using a Cobra Mark IV on a regular basis, um, which is quite fun. I was using this Crate Phantom, the Bad Penny, but unfortunately the Bad Penny has now been repurposed as a Thargoid killing machine. And I'm working on a new pirate ship, um, you know, as we speak. I haven't finished the engineering on it, but I'm confident this new pirate ship will be a, a good giggle and silly fun. Um, pur purposely for PvP piracy. Uh, as in terms of PvE piracy, I'd recommend something with really strong shields um, because sometimes the police drop in and attack you while you're scooping up your cargo. I use my cutter, um, you know, and you can easily fill like a four or five hundred ton um, cargo space doing this method in a reasonable amount of time. You know, it, it's not quite as quick as mining, but you can get close to it. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching.